Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Caterpaul uh, with Choice Medical Group and I'm here to give an update on the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic and how it pertains to our patients here in San Bernardino County. As of March 15th, San Bernardino County had one case uh, test positive. Today is March 27th and we're up to 55 cases. The numbers are rising and we know that there's a lot more people in the county that have the illness but haven't been tested yet. The thing we worry about is that people could have the virus but have no symptoms and they could inadvertently spread that to other people. That is why it's so important to follow the stay-at-home order issued by Governor Newsom and if you must leave your house to follow the social distancing recommendations. Today I'll spend a few minutes talking about what to do if you or your loved one is sick and some tips that we can use to stay safe over the upcoming week. So the first thing is if you notice that you or someone you care for has symptoms of COVID-19. These include fever, muscle aches, fatigue, shortness of breath, or cough. So what to do? So the first thing is don't panic. Panic never helps in these situations. Most people have mild symptoms that can be managed at home. What I recommend is to call your doctor's office to discuss your symptoms and how you should manage them. The treatment is generally supportive, so similar to how we treat the flu. So this means over-the-counter cough cold medications, Tylenol for fever, and staying hydrated. Your doctor can advise you about whether you need to be seen in the office or the emergency room, what medicines you can take, and how to monitor for emergency symptoms. A lot of doctor's offices are moving towards telemedicine, which means that they can discuss symptoms over phone or video conferencing to give you more information. Another important component to the treatment plan is home isolation. If you're sick with any of these symptoms, it's really important to stay at home and to try to distance yourself from people that you live with. You should stay in a separate room and use a separate bathroom if possible. You should avoid sharing household items and don't share food. Wash your hands frequently. You should also make sure that you're cleaning high touch surfaces and items every day. These include countertops, doorknobs, phones, remote controls, and toilets. If you're not working from home, you should talk to your doctor or workplace about when it's safe to return to work. Usually this is about 7 to 14 days after the start of your illness. The CDC website has a lot of good information about what to do if you're ill. The last thing I want to talk about is testing. There's been a national shortage of tests for COVID-19, so we haven't been able to test everyone who's had symptoms or exposure. Now we're starting to get more tests in San Bernardino County. The Department of Health is piloting drive through testing starting today, and they're planning to open drive through testing throughout the county uh, coming up very shortly. Once they ramp up testing, if you're having symptoms or your doctor recommends, uh, you can make an appointment for testing on the San Bernardino County Department of Health website. Even if you're not able to get testing, don't panic, because the treatment and precautions will generally be the same. So I just want to end by summarizing a few points. First, stay home as much as possible, and if you must go out, practice social distancing by staying six feet away from other people and wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Second, if you have any worrisome symptoms, consult with your doctor over the phone or telemedicine about what you should be doing. Lastly, keep an eye on the San Bernardino County Department of Health website for more information and appointments about drive-through testing.